electronic expansion valve. This particular one is the E2V24. Uh, I think this does about 40 kilowatts of cooling, which is ridiculous for something so small. Now, this is the controller. You can buy, you can, you can buy this separately for screen, right? You can buy just a very simple front, or rather it comes with a simple front. You buy the screen so that you can have like, lots of these on one screen and you can just put them use this as a programmer um right then the today i've got a, a 24 volt dc supply you can use a 24 volt ac supply you've got to choose in the settings what you do right i've got i've set it to number one which is a dc supply um positive is on is on uh G and negative on GO. Um, batteries, if you can have a battery backup in case it was to die. And it, the valve can motor, uh, motor closed. Um, that's where the VXV goes into. So you'll need the instruction manual here to uh, tell you how that goes in. You can use all the different types of valves and just change the, uh, it gives you the the colours. And I do believe in commissioning it can tell you what your valve what your valve colours are. It'll tell you in the go through this commissioning 16 steps of commissioning screen. Um right so that's how I've got them connected up. Uh, this is my valve and it comes you you need to connect the earth on I do believe right with and it comes with this screen cable. Um, the next one is a as a relay here Right, and that you can use that relay for a couple of things. It could be a fault, or you can have it so it energizes your solenoid when you need to. Now I've got this light set up as which will be my solenoid. Right. Then at the bottom we've got the connection to the transducer that comes with it, which is a uh, you've got to have the right transducer, the Corel one. Um, so it tells you the connections there. So we've got uh, da -da 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 -da. green as ground, um, black as the voltage reference, and then the feedback is going to be S going to S1. So that's going to be your your uh, your reading from your transducer. Then your second probe, as I call it, S2, is your is your Corel 10K uh, uh, probe, and and then the next one you just to be aware of is the digital input. So you come from ground to digital input, and I've just got a wire in here, and that's going to be your command to tell it to go now. I'd have that coming from your 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 refrigeration controller. So what would normally um, energise your solenoid, I'd have I'd have that switch. I'd have put that in, right? So at the moment, I've got it set up for six degrees of superheat. Um, valve hasn't closed down much, to be honest, but hey, it sorts all that out itself. So I've got pressure onto my onto my transducer and that pressure and the temperature that we've got here um, is is equating to uh, 5.9 uh, 5.9 k superheat and a valve opening needed of 43 if i if i just put the uh, pressure up a bit see what that does Right, so now it's um, it's closing my valve down because it's realising that the pressure's gone high, my temperature hasn't changed, so it's it's bringing me out a low super heat warning, which would I could put an alarm out if I wanted to there, but it's closing my valve down. Right, 
and so it's doing what it's supposed to be doing like now like the six point you know the, the super e wouldn't be bad now you know and then i could maybe if i get my uh pro put it in me put it in my mouth get it hot i'm heating it right up now so at the same pressure Holding back up again. Yeah, so that same pressure but having more heat on my probe is causing me. What if I drop the pressure and kept the same heat? Let's see if I uh, say, let's see if I can get that to, if I let the, pr let the pressure out now. Right, and then, then that should start seeing that my super is going massive and I open my valve up the valve here, I can uh, blow through it. So this is taking its time to open, because there must be a, there'll be a time, there'll be a time delay in there, you know, so it doesn't just whack open. Because there's a massive super in there because I've let nearly all I've let the pressure out. So it's, it thinks it's like zero zero psi. Uh, and it's about one of the 20 degrees on that probe. And we can look at and we can go down the screen and we can see we've got 50 degrees super heat. We've got no no pressure, so we're running at zero in this in the suction. And um, and it's slowly opening the valve up so it doesn't hunt backwards and forwards and it will try and get on top of that but obviously because it's not a real system it's not getting on top of it you know because it, we're not actually sticking any refrigerant in we're doing nothing so it's not rectifying the um the faulty situation of uh of going with our super eco massive so the final thing to see then is back onto the screen so imagine we're working we're working away there and then we open our controller gets down to temperature right so we just open this open that there so we've opened our controller and we're now we're, we're stopping regulation and that um that's the solenoid now has just de-energized it's not de-energized by our refrigeration control it's been de-energized by this and then we put when we put the two back together again so see if i can do that there you go I'm not putting the cables back together properly but you get the idea with that all right so that's how it would work and um yeah so if you ever lost if you ever lost the pad the good the way the good way the, the reason to have it where your solenoid which would be here is energized by this is energized by this right um via this via, via this is if you lose the if you lose the power right you'll lose the solenoid right and you won't do any you don't do any uh, refrigeration uh, which um, could be a problem for flooding the, the coil so there we go right now the uh, what's the uh, what's it called it's called driver that's the refrigerants it does with it mine's on 4178 there's quite, quite, a, quite a few there I don't know how you um, 
how you update it. Probably got to plug it into a computer.